Hi friends, my name is Myro and I run a coffee blog called Coffee with Myro. You can find me on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, now here on YouTube. I've recently started making videos which I have found really fun. I just want to show you guys how to make coffee that it's easy, that's affordable. Um, it can add up buying coffee at Starbucks or any other place, it does add up so why not? try to make it ourselves today we'll be making an iced mocha i'm so excited hopefully you enjoy don't forget to comment to subscribe to like let me know what else you want to see what you want to make what you're curious about any feedback would be great so i really 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 appreciate it so this recipe is cool because it really doesn't take ingredients that are super expensive i believe the key ingredient is the chocolate sauce. This is the Gurgeli chocolate sauce. It's pretty affordable. It's three, four bucks at Walmart. You can find it at Target as well. I believe HEB too if you're in Texas. So just any local grocery store or even Amazon, you can order it. I'll leave my Amazon Amazon store link below. That um, next we have chocolate sauce. This really inexpensive. You can find it at Walmart for one or two bucks. It should be Target, your local grocery store. If you want the fancy Hershey's one, that's fine too. And then we have whipped cream. This is Target brand, but you can have uh, Ready Whip or Target or whatever your favorite whipped cream is. I am just using the Target one. And then of course milk. I use 2% non-lactose milk, but you can use oat milk, almond milk, coconut milk, regular milk, just your milk of preference. Um, should work just fine and then for my espresso I used an espresso to brew my espresso shots but um, you can use a mocha pot you can use a regular espresso machine I really th recommend an espresso I know it can get kind of pricey but I really do think it's worth the investment and for the pods in a typical morning I would use the Bianco Leggero if you are following the coffee community or the Nespresso community this is a really popular one it goes really well with milk and chocolate uh, but it's 6 p.m. in Texas and yes I'm craving coffee so I will be using the Decafe Natto instead I think it's a good alternative because it decaf I know tragic but um, if I have regular coffee after 5 p.m. I will be up all night so we don't want to do that so we'll use this alternative but as I mentioned if this was any earlier I'd use this but alternative I'm gonna use um, this espresso holder to brew my espresso it's cute it did have a handle but I dropped it but it's actually good quality and works just fine I just I just dropped it so I'll probably order a new one uh, but you're gonna grab your chocolate sauce and you're gonna pour it into it before you brew your espresso um, just because that way it can melt into it and it just be a lot easier so you can pour as much or as little as you want this is how much I am using so yeah cool cool trick What I really enjoy about making coffee is the experience. So it starts with the cup. So I'm gonna be using this cup. I believe it's called a nesting jar. It's really cool because it does look like a like a coffee cup, and it has I like that it has the measurement. So it has four ounce, eight ounce, and twelve ounce. So if you are making following a recipe, this cup is really easy and convenient to use. I did find it at Target but it's also on Amazon and I'll have that also linked for you. So really cute but grab your favorite cup. It could be any cup really your favorite. I I really do think it's about the experience. And what we're going to do first is add some chocolate syrup. So what you want to do is grab your syrup, grab your cup and we're going to put some around the cup. So what you want to do is grab it, squeeze it, and just kind of twist and decorate your cup and have fun with it. Again, it's about the experience. 
I like my coffee to look aesthetic, so add how much ever you want or however you want it to look. I added about this much, so you see we decorated our cup. And yeah, it looks super, super cool. And then in another cup, I have my milk. Um, and I'm gonna froth it. I'm gonna use this frother also from Amazon. And I used about six ounces, like I mentioned, um, just because it does, when you froth it, you do get more of it. So it'll become, it'll be, you'll get more. So this is how it'll look like. So froth to your personal preference. This is what my trend out like. And then I am going to grab my cup and assemble. So I'm going to pour some ice first. <laughs> I like to pour in the espresso last just because um, I want it to cool off as much as, as it can before adding it in. That way the ice takes a little bit longer to milk and it doesn't become too watery. So put the ice in first and then I'm going to add my milk. So it should look something like that. And then finally I'm going to add my espresso. And this is the fun part because I just think it looks so cool. So, oh my gosh, look at this. How pretty is this? Oh my gosh, look. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then the last step would be add to add your whipped cream so just around your cup you can decorate and then we're going to top it up with chocolate syrup so it can decorate drizzle however you like and then finally we can enjoy grab your favorite straw stir 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 and enjoy pretty simple don't forget to take pictures to go outside and enjoy your coffee it's great after a day at a at the pool after a long day of work before work mid day snack work from home pick me up so yeah this is a really yummy and fun drink you can be really creative with it make it as chocolatey as you want if you love chocolate like me you'll probably put a whole bunch like i did but yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to show y'all something simple something fun i hope you enjoyed it let me know what else you want to see what other recipes what what other coffee content you want to see um i did just start making these videos and i really do like um making these videos and showing you how to make fun affordable easy coffee let me know what else you want to see guys until next time and cheers